Hello again. This is the Pencrest High School AP Physics 1 video series. And this is video 3D uh, Ramps and Inclined Planes. Now, a ramp or an inclined plane uh, is a flat surface that is oriented uh, at some elevation angle. The elevation angle is measured up from the horizontal. Uh, we typically would call it theta. We're familiar with that nomenclature. The overall process <clears throat> when we apply Newton's laws to this situation is the same. Uh, we create a free body diagram. Uh, we resolve forces into components as necessary for a revised free body diagram. And then we write force equations and solve for whatever's missing. Uh, there are some particulars that are specific to this situation that need to be addressed. So that's what we're up to here. Uh, we did the free body diagram for a box on a ramp earlier. We have FG straight down as usual. We have force friction acting to oppose the motion which is down the ramp. And we have FN which acts normal force which acts perpendicular and outward from the surface. So what we're going to do, when we have an inclined plane, <clears throat> we're going to rotate our conventional x-y axes, uh, which are typically horizontal and vertical. We're going to rotate them so that they line up with the surface of the plane itself. Notice that the x-direction is now along the length of the plane, or parallel to it, and the y-direction is perpendicular to it. So we're going to rotate these axes so they match up with, if you turn your head sideways, you can see X and Y. We're going to do this for two reasons. Uh, first of all, the forces that are associated with the surface itself, that's uh, FN and FF, uh, are now going to be aligned with our axes. So we won't have to resolve them into components. Uh, and second, if there is any motion at all, the motion is going to be constrained along the plane. So the, the box isn't going to jump off the plane for any reason. Uh, so the motion will be constrained here. So if there's any acceleration, we're only going to have to worry about it in the x direction. Now, <clears throat> there is one complication, and that is with FG. The gravitational force always points straight down, regardless of how we orient our axes. So now, uh, F sub G does not align with either of our rotated axes. So it must be resolved into components in the new X and Y directions for a revised free body diagram. You can see by looking here, FG has a component in the X direction and a component in the Y direction. So again, we know that its magnitude is MG, but now we're going to need to resolve it into components. These components will have uh, particular names. We're going to call them F parallel. That's the X component that acts along the ramp itself. And F perpendicular, which acts into the ramp and inward. So now the component along the plane, the F parallel, points down the plane. And it's called F parallel, and it's equal to mg sine theta. F perpendicular points into the ramp, and it's called and its uh, formula is mg times cosine theta. You may notice that the x component uses the sine of theta, and the y component uses the cosine. Uh, these are not typos; they're not errors. The reason is uh, fg is vertical, and theta is measured from the horizontal, so that flips the angle around, changes the designation in terms of using theta. Um, if you want a more detailed picture, I can put one up on the board for you. So here's our revised free body diagram. Notice that FG goes away and it's replaced by its components F parallel and F perpendicular. We still have FN, we still have FF. And now we're going to follow the same steps we're used to. Uh, the positive X direction is going to be down the ramp. That's the way the box is moving. 
and the positive y direction is out of the ramp or this way. So our force equations when we use our new directions in the x direction we have f parallel minus ff equals ma in the x direction and then in the y direction we have fn minus f perpendicular equals zero because it doesn't accelerate this way. All right, so that's all we need for ramps and inclined planes. Um, in short, replace FG with F parallel and F perpendicular. And then business as usual. Until next time, see you again soon.